Hi, I'm Jeremy, the author of Exploring Arduino. What you're about to watch is a brief video demonstration of one of the projects in the second edition of the book Exploring Arduino. If you don't already have the book, visit exploringarduino.com to learn more about it and where you can buy it. If you make a cool project from the book and want to share it, please use the hashtag exploringarduino on social media. Okay, good luck with the project. Once you get your car fully assembled, it should look something like this. Uh, if you're not using a kit, you might be assembling it with popsicle sticks or whatever you can find around the house. That works fine too. While you're programming it, you just probably want to prop it up on something like I've done here so that the wheels are off the table um, so you can test it out. The motors are hooked up here to each side of our H-bridge. And if you find that one of them is rotating in the wrong direction, just swap the wires. That'll change the rotation direction of the motor by default. Um, so you're going to want to kind of calibrate your photoresistors so that they respond to the right level of brightness and make sure you get them pointed outwards so that you can follow the light going in either direction. Um, so the code for this program includes some serial debugging messages uh, that'll come up on your screen. And so this is helpful for setting the exact thresholds that you want to use um, for the light levels. So um, for the right and left, it shows the light level that it's reading and then the corresponding speed of the opposite motor, which basically determines how it moves. So if I take a flashlight here, point it at it, you can see that the wheels start spinning. If I spin it at this one, uh, the opposite wheel turns, so it turns towards it. And if I point it at this one, um, the other wheel turns, so it turns towards it. Um, and the way the code is set up is they respond proportionally to the light levels. And if you look at the uh, serial, you'll see, so right now I'm aiming it at the right sensor, so the left motor is spinning. Uh, and if I aim it just at the left sensor, the opposite will happen. And if I aim it at both, they'll both move proportional to the amount of light they're receiving. Now let's go look how it responds on the floor. Once you've got it programmed, put your rover on the floor and use a flashlight to drive it around. And you can see that as I move the flashlight, the robot turns to follow the light. And if I kind of point it towards the front, it goes pretty straight.